Hi, I'm Kenny Anderson, and welcome to Getting to Know Your Local Police. This is a segment that we have spun off of the Impact broadcast to kind of get you familiar with some of Huntsville's finest individuals who protect us every day and do such a great job of community building that we thought we wanted to definitely spend some time highlighting them. I want to introduce you to Officer Kwame Budu. He rides out of the South Precinct, and we welcome him to this broadcast today. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. It's good to have you here. You know, we got a chance to talk a little bit off the air, and I know that's always one of my fun parts to kind of get people acclimated to being here on the set. And uh, I'm really glad to have you here today because I've had a chance through this broadcast to meet quite a few officers and learn so much about policing and the humanity behind the badge, which is really what we're focusing on. Yes. We see police officers and law enforcement officials often in uniform, and we forget that they have families and they have hobbies and they have personal interests and education and all that other stuff. So yes. uh, we're just glad to have you here today. The first question I always ask the officers is, where are you from? And so I'm going to start out right there with you as well. Uh, I get this question quite a lot on the street. Uh, originally, I'm from Ghana, West Africa. Um, it's, uh, of course, in the, on the West Coast, originally called the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. um, so well, that's where I'm from. Okay. And you ended up in Huntsville, which um, I shared with you earlier that I'm a transplant from New York. You're from Boston. You spent time in Boston. Yes, sir. And uh, ended up in Huntsville. And that's always a question I get from people, you know, how did you end up in Huntsville? You're from New York. And of course, I tell them Oakwood University brought me here. You got here in a little bit different kind of way. Yes, I mean, um, it was on a vacation. Um, we're heading towards Florida to uh, the Kennedy Space Center. It's something that I was, I'm always interested in, learning about space and all that. So uh, we were heading to Florida, and uh, we decided to pass through Hansville. And uh, the cost of living, and after spending two days here, the cost of living, comparing to Boston, it was no brainer. So we decided to give Hansville a shot. Yeah, and as I said earlier, the rest is history. You've been here for a while. And yes. uh, do, you, do you like Huntsville? Uh, I've enjoyed it ever since we've been here, since 2001. That's awesome. It's a great city. Yes. Uh, for lots of different reasons. And I think that's really what makes it work, because it works for different reasons for different people. Yes. But we all benefit from, I think, just a wonderful community and opportunities. Uh, you chose to become a police officer. Yes. And I'm always curious as to what drove you to that decision. Like I, was, I always tell people, it's a long story. If you look at my family tree, about 90% of um, my family is in law enforcement. Yeah. Um, if it's no law enforcement, they're in business. Um, my, my dad is a, a lawyer. My mom is a judge. My baby brother is a judge. Wow. Uh, I have a, another brother who is a Marine. Yeah. Uh, my uncle is a is a, a commander uh, in a police, uh, they will call it um, a deputy police chief mm -hmm. over here in my country. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's part of the gene, I guess. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's in your DNA. DNA. It's, it's in our DNA, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. You know, um, that I think is real interesting. And you, of course, follow a long line of other individuals who have chosen that as a profession. and. Uh, I know in Huntsville, there's an academy that you have to go through. You're in the 50th class. Yes, sir. And the best. The best class, always, right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> Whatever class someone went through was the best class. And, but but well, obviously... Well, ours was truly the best one. You were really yes. the best, all right. You know, 50th, and you can't beat <laughs> The golden anniversary. Yes, sir. So that's all right. Yeah. Um, but I wonder oftentimes, and I like to talk with uh, officers about just that whole academy experience, because I know it has to build some sense of camaraderie first with the people that you come in with, but also the opportunity to learn the expanse um, territory that we call Huntsville and all of the many things, many challenges that you face and the preparation that you're uh, exposed to to be prepared to go out and do the job that you do. Um, what did you benefit from most in going through the academy? 
to me, um, the academy came in in three phases. First of all, like you said, I had to know, learn the, the people that I was in the academy with, my fellow officers. And then again, I have to learn what I was being taught, being maybe sure that I'm focused on uh, what I was being taught to graduate. And then when I came out, I have to learn the street. Mm. And I acclimate myself with what is out there so that I can better serve uh, my people. But um, at the end of the day, the academy was very challenging. Um, but at the same time, it taught me a whole lot of things. Um, being, being able to focus at the same time, being um, laid back, being able to listen. Mm. And not only listen, but very listen to everything that people say. Mm. Because there are two different ways of listening. You can listen to somebody just talking mm. and also being able to listen to somebody and the words that they are using. Mm. Um, after coming out of the academy, um, again, I was, I went in the academy a different person mm. and I came out a different person. Mm. So we can, it's, it's, a, it's a big, a broad subject that we can talk about all day. Sure. You know, but uh, at the end of the day, academy made me, uh, it pretty much gave me the tools that I need to be able to serve the people yeah. to be a, a good police officer. And, and I understand serving people, of course, is one of the most beneficial things that you get out of the work that you do. You like interacting with people. Yes, sir. So that's yes, wonderful. Officer Budu, I can't imagine where time flies whenever we have these kinds of conversations, but we're just about out of time right now. Yes. But I want to thank you for the work that you do and thank you for being willing to come on and share a little bit of your story today. I think that this segment is a way that the whole community can come to know our law enforcement community so much better. And I, I, I'm a real proponent of community policing and, and building relationships. Yes with others in the community. So thank you for being a part of this broadcast today. And thank, thank you, you for the work that you do. Thank you very much, Anderson. All right. Any, any time. All right. Yeah. We want to thank you for being a part of our broadcast today. Getting to know your local police is a regular segment. It's just a small taste of something that we're doing to familiarize you more with the men and women who wear the uniform. And we certainly thank them every day for what they do. Thank you for being a part of the broadcast. And we'll see you in our next segment of Getting to Know your local police. I'm Kenny Anderson.